Ever feel like today's dating world is a mix of fascinating yet perplexing adventures? From swiping left and right to crafting that just right profile, or even decoding those, um, interesting dating terms, breadcrumbing anyone? Modern dating is truly a world of its own. But don't sweat, we are about to embark on a comprehensive journey through the highs and lows, the do's and the don'ts, and the techie bits of today's romantic scene. Whether you are looking for tips on making a stellar first impression, understanding what women really want, or simply how to stay safe in this digital age of romance, we've got you covered. So are you ready to unravel the mysteries of modern dating from apps and websites to good old face-to-face -face connections? Let's swipe right into it. The shift in dynamics, the digital age of romance. Remember those teen movies where the guy spots his crush across a crowded room and then spends the entire movie trying to win her over? Well, swap that room for a digital platform and that's the world we are living in. The internet didn't just give us cat videos and memes, it entirely revamped the dating scene. Instead of serendipitous encounters, we have algorithms guiding us on our romantic paths. It's wild, right? But even admits this tech takeover, the core of romance remains connection. Yes, the game has changed, but the prize, still the same, that real genuine bond. Dating apps versus dating websites, which is right for you? Now picture this, you are at a massive buffet. On one side, you've got quick snacks, easy to grab, tasty and perfect for that intimate hunger, aka dating apps. On the other, full course meals that take time but promise satisfaction, hello dating websites. So what's a guy to choose? Dating apps are great for quick matches and getting to know someone in a snag. Dating websites, however, dive deeper with detailed pro profiles and algorithms that consider compatibility over immediate attraction. It's like choosing between instant noodles and gourmet pasta. Both have their place, you just gotta know what you're in the mood for. Profile Crafting 101 – Creating an Authentic and Appealing Online Image Alright gentlemen, think of your online profile as your own movie trailer. You want to intrigue, not give away the entire plot. Starting with photos, go beyond the mirror selfies. Show yourself in genuine moments, maybe hiking up a mountain or laughing with friends. Now the bio. This is where you let her peek into your world, but not too much. Keep it witty, but genuine. Remember, authenticity is key and it's like fishing. You want to cast a line that represents the real you, hoping to reel in someone who appreciates what you are truly about. Because at the end of the day, you want someone who's excited for the full movie, not just the trailer. Matching algorithms. Do they really understand what you are looking for? ever heard of that friend who claims they were match made in algorithm heaven and you were there thinking is tech playing cupid now well here's the scoop dating platforms use algorithms a blend of your preferences and your behavior on the app to suggest matches it's like a restaurant predicting your order based on your past choices but does it always get it right not necessarily while they do their best remember the heart wants what it wants and sometimes it's beyond logic or code so use those algorithms as a guide but trust your gut as the ultimate matchmaker. Traditional dating in the digital era, does it still exist? Picture a world filled with pixelated hearts and Wi-Fi signals. Amidst this, two people bump into each other in a coffee shop, exchange numbers and bam, romance blossoms. Sounds like a fairy tale in our tech-infused world, right? But trust me, even in this digital era, face-to-face -face connections haven't gone extinct. They've become rare, precious gems. While apps and sites are great tools, don't forget the charm of spontaneity, the thrill of real-life chemistry. Balancing the best of both worlds, that's the sweet spot in today's dating game. First impressions, making it count both online and offline. Remember the time you judged a book by its cover and it turned out to be a complete plot twist? Dating can be a bit like that. Whether it's your profile picture or your demeanor on a first date, first impressions stick. Online, keep it authentic, maybe with a dash of mystery. Offline, a genuine smile, good eye contact and active listening can do wonders. It's a bit like stepping onto a stage, whether the spotlight's on you you in person or online, you've got that one chance to leave an indelible mark, so own it. 
initiating conversation, how to start, maintain and when to move on. So you've got that match or locked eyes across the room. What next? Initiating conversation can feel like stepping onto thin ice, wondering if you'll actually glide or plunge. Now a good strategy, start with common interests or a fun observation. Keep the chat engaging but natural. Like a dance you lead sometimes, follow it others. And if the tune doesn't feel right, it's okay to graciously bow out and wait for a rhythm that resonates with yours. Every conversation is a learning curve and a step closer to finding your perfect dance partner. Dating etiquette, modern rules for modern times. Navigating the dating scene can sometimes feel like you are tiptoeing through a minefield of unwritten rules. Remember when the biggest dilemma was who pays for dinner? Now we've got is it too soon to text or why did they leave me on red? When it comes to payment, going Dutch or taking turns is a great approach. As for ghosting, while our digital age has made ghosting easier, remember a little respect goes a long way. Address the elephant in the chat room if things aren't panning out. After all, even in our swipe-driven world, old-fashioned manners never go out of style. The role of social media, how it impacts dating. Ah, the age of Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. It's tempting, right? Just a little peek into their profile before the date. But here's the catch. Social media only shows the highlights and filtered best bits of someone's life. While it's natural to be curious, obsessively creeping can lead to misguided assumptions. Or worse, self-comparisons. It's like watching a movie's trailer and thinking you know the whole story. Use social media as a tool, not a telescope. Save the deep dives for genuine conversations and let discoveries unfold organically. Safety first, protecting yourself in the world of online dating. Remember when your biggest concern was picking the right outfit for the date? Now, especially in the digital realm, it's crucial to shield both your heart and your personal information. Set those privacy settings high and avoid oversharing early on. Meeting someone new, opt for public places and let a trusted friend know you're wearing Whereabouts. Think of it like strapping on a parachute before skydiving. It doesn't mean you expect to fall, but it's wise to be prepared. Love is an adventure, but safety? That should always be the priority. Red flags, spotting them early in digital and traditional dating. The dating realm can be a mesmerizing dance of roses and candlelit dinners, but sometimes lurking in the shadows are those sneaky red flags. Maybe it's the way they avoid certain topics or how they seem too good to be true. Whether you are swiping or dining, be alert. Like a detective spotting inconsistencies in a story, trust your instincts. If something feels off, it might just be. But remember, it's not about being paranoid, it's about being being informed and aware. When you know the signs, you can dance around pitfalls and towards genuine connections. From casual to serious, identifying intentions and aligning expectations. You know how in movies there's that defining the relationship scene? In real life, it's a bit more nuanced. Some dates are like breezy summer flings, others feel like cozy winter cuddles. The key is clarity. If you are looking for something long term, it's okay to voice it. If it's casual fun you are after, be upfront about it. It's like setting a destination in your GPS before starting the journey. It ensures you and your partner are headed in the same direction. Meeting in person, tips for making that first date memorable. That first date anticipation, it's like waiting for a movie premiere. And you, my friends, are both the star and the audience. The setting, go for that cafe with the quirky decor or that park with the view. But when the spotlight's on, dig deeper than the usual small talk. Dive into tales of midnight escapades, hidden talents and wild dreams. Just remember to be in the moment. Like trying a new dessert, relish every bite, every laugh, every spark. Ghosting, benching and breadcrumbing, understanding these modern dating terms. Feeling like you need a translator to decode today's dating lingo? Mm, I get it. The digital age brought not just apps, but a whole new dictionary. Ghosting? Well, it's when someone disappears without a trace, leaving you in dating limbo. Benching? That's keeping someone on the sidelines just in case things don't work out with the main interest. And breadcrumbing? It's tossing out occasional flirty messages without the intention of truly committing. It's a jungle out there, but with the right map and translations, you can now navigate the terrain like a pro. 
handling rejection, building resilience in the world of swipe left or right. Now we've all felt that sting, haven't we? The match that unmatched, the message that was left unread, and the date that didn't want a second round. But here's a fresh perspective. Think of rejection as redirection. Every no is steering you closer to a more fitting yes. It's not about the number of swipes, but finding that one meaningful connection. When the going gets tough, remember in the grand orchestra of love, sometimes a missed note leads to a beautiful symphony. Feedback and reflection, continuously improving your dating game. Ever had one of those nights replaying every single moment of a date, over analyzing every word and gesture? Well, welcome to the club. Dating is a learning curve, and just like how a musician might replay a performance to find the off notes, it's okay to reflect on your romantic escapades. Were you really present or busy rehearsing what to say next? Maybe chat with a buddy, or if you are brave, ask that date that you really vibed with for some honest feedback because hey the journey of love it's all about growing learning and sometimes a few face palms along the way with the basics of modern dating down where will your journey take you next dive into the secrets of detecting her hidden desires how to tell if she's sexually attracted to you or crack the code with missed opportunities subtle flirting signs that men overlook stay connected for more insights and don't forget to like comment and hit that subscribe button